Welcome back ladies and gents. Now in this video, I'm just going to show you an example of how you might work with this. So if I go right down to the bottom, I'm going to look at the first activity that's been set here. Um, so if I click on here, you'll see this is a question. Now sometimes your teacher might give you a question very similar to this. So they might give you a question straight onto the screen. You look at the question and you basically type in um, your answer here. Okay. And then you hand it in. Now sometimes the teacher, depending on the question itself, they might um, attach certain resources to help you answer that question and you'll find that the instructions are also here so you can see it says uh, in fact let's look at it together so it says why do you think life in the trenches is described as horrific so that might be a typical question that you are given to uh, or presented uh, by your teacher sometimes it could be an exam style question which is also um, fine uh, if they give you an instruction it's very important that you read that carefully and if there are any resources, obviously it's been uh, it's been put there uh, on purpose to help you uh, provide the best possible answer and improve your your learning and your uh, develop your knowledge. So if you can see here that there's actually uh, an image. So if I click on this here, it will open up a new tab and show me a picture. So it's going to give me a little bit more of an insight and help me answer that question. And sometimes, as I said, they might even put a video clip. So if I click on that, it should pop up with a video, and then you can press play straight on the same screen without going anywhere else and uh, watch it. Now, if you do want to increase the size, you can just click on this. It maximizes it for you. Okay. Um, you can change the, de the settings here uh, for the quality and control all uh, the uh, settings and features of the video. And once you're done, you can just click away by clicking anywhere on the dark area and you'll return back here. And once you're happy, you can just type in your answer here. So because I just want to keep this video nice and sweet, I'm just going to give a simple answer here. Um, okay, so ob obviously, <laughs> obviously you write a, an actual answer. Uh, so let's, let's pretend that I've put a very interesting answer here with justification. Okay, so once you're happy with the answer, you click on hand in and then that will be sent straight to your your teacher. Now, of course, it will ask you whether you are happy with the answer and once you've submitted it, you can't change it. So you click on hand in if you are. If you're uncertain, you think, actually, wait a minute, I could have, add, I could have added a little bit more there. You can press cancel and go back to it again. So I'm going to hand it in this in this situation, uh, in this example. And that's that. Okay, so that's one way uh, you might be uh, sent um, tasks in your Google Classroom. So this could be a starter activity, it could be a plenary activity to see whether you understand some of the topics that you learnt in that particular class. Uh, it could be a quick question to see, uh, like a survey almost, just to see how uh, you feel about a certain topic. It could be any number of things. 